Okay, let's continue with this uh, software training about Devs Presley Port. It's an introduction to this uh, tool, but we are making a lot of things that useful that you can use for make your report. So the next uh, things we're gonna say or do, sorry, we're gonna do is provide navigation to the report. Uh, put a number of pages, add a document map that people can go uh, quickly to a category or something like that, and display a table of contents, you know, like Word document that you have the number of page and anything. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now we have this report that we were working before. The first thing that I want I want to do here is to put the page number. Uh, in the toolbox, you're gonna find uh, info. This info, this page info. If you see page info, this page info is information about the, the page. I, I'm putting here in the in the margin, but is I have to insert a band and put a page footer. You remember? That's what that's what's important to to meet the band first. <laughs> okay, in the in the in this page footer, by default, this uh, can put this uh, page uh, number information number of total. If you see, if we if we room. Make a preview of the report, select all the. If you see in, in each page, you're gonna have this one page from 38, two page from 38, and so on. If you see, it's very easy to do this. Okay, all the things that you can do in the in the in this information is just uh, well, well, you can you can put this in the middle. We do with the other things. Uh, we, some some people like to put Italy, but you can show this. Like a, if you see, is like a book, like a book. Okay. Uh, with this page info, you can make a lot of other things. Uh, we see we we have here just the page info, but. Uh, here you can have date, time, username, number. Uh, you see, if I want to put uh, maybe, uh, maybe I, I I don't put it here this to whole page, and I add another page info from the toolbox page info. Okay, page info, and I. Up this page info to this side. Okay, if you see, we have. Okay, <laughs> yes. Okay, this side is number, and this side I'm gonna put here a day and time. Okay, so I, 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 can, I can we can have in the footer on every page we can have this information. You can format this test. Remember, you can say this is a day time or day, and you can put the the, the, the customization you need for this. For the moment, this can fit with these uh, settings, so we can just preview and submit, and we can have here. If you see, now we can have the day and the number of pages. Here at this side, so we have these two things here that we can use to customize the press. A dev express in the page in the dev express page, you can see I can put this link in, in the report. What you can do with the page number, you can format in and do a lot of things with this page number. If you see, we, we can do this with the formatting. Uh, Formatting, just put page zero out of one. Okay, if you want, we can do this. 
we can do this uh, format this stream okay we can say page a zero zero sorry of one zero means the first parameter that is the page and one is the second parameter in this case okay so we can just preview it again and th there is a lot of trick uh, in the in the documentation you know we are seeing almost the most important things but you can go all the time and see the documentation the documentation is very very good very is great there are a lot of samples and other things. okay now we have the page the the information of the page if you see we put this in the footer so we can see in each foot okay the next things that i want to show to you is the document map document map is a list of something that i want to go quickly in the report links uh, this is the the real name there are links in the report that we can just click and go to this page quickly so we're gonna make this uh, this uh, document map with the category that is our uh, breaking breaking uh, information you know inside every category we have the product so in this category we're gonna make this uh, document map okay how we do that okay we have to select the field we have to select the, the place and then here if you see we have property we have this property we have events uh, and we have this expression in this expression we have some expression that we call bookmark okay bookmark we just select this bookmark i have copy here this format string it's just this format string is just for put this label uh, in front of the category in this zero is because I want I have one parameter but if I have another I put one two three and I put every parameter here okay so this is the way you can do we, we you just can put the name but I want to put this uh, category food category because people can see okay okay just that you go to the bookmark and put your expression here and then we can preview we can save this and preview if you see i go to submit we have here all the category and here we have the document map if you see it's good and we can just click and go to each category yay very good and we don't we don't have to go page by page we have this document map this document map you can uh, take away or put it from this bottom and the end user is gonna do the same they're gonna have this uh, uh, document map everywhere everywhere they have this so it's easy to add and is very useful because now i see all my categories and i go to the category that, that i want to to go okay great okay and continue with this we're gonna add a new things in the report that is a the the table of contents because we like a word document we we, we, won't, we won't we won't want to have a table of content at the beginning of the report so we can just see how how many pages we have and what what can i do uh, what what can i navigate to this page okay so if i want to see this just one time in the report i have to add here report header report header is just one time in the report we have this report header and we look here in the toolbox this uh, table of content 
you see, we have this tablet of context. We're going to add here. If you see, this takes all the all the page all the page horizontally we can customize this uh, put some label condition you know but by default this is very very good okay so what this takes this takes everything that you have with the bookmark like this you remember this bookmark this take every bookmark in the reports and create a table of content so i can go here to the preview i can just submit and then if you see i have the table of content with a name i can go to any page and i have here the document map and i can go to every page so if you see we have now an interactive report this title you i, I can put a uh, something here outside so i can just create a you know a, a little space here and put a label if you want if you want it this is just a just something that i have that i want to to put here we can put a label here if you see the label is okay it's taking the label is taking a, a little more space that i want so i put this a little down and in this label i can put ball table sorry table of content Perfect. So I can just put here and I can uh, I can add a, a little more uh, uh, graded uh, 12. This can be good. Okay. It's going to be like this. Table of content. I have my table of content here. So I can make a preview. Submit okay oh, i lose my table of content okay because the table of content take all the page oh it's good that it, this happened but because we can we can just uh, do another thing that i want to show to you we, we're gonna insert a suit band okay suit band is a band that depends on the principal band so i'm gonna put this in the suit band you see because this one a band for for only for them okay and um, then i gonna say here keep together and i'm gonna say here keep together wh wh why i do that because i want this if this do, uh, this print in one page and the page is not enough to print they're gonna be separate but i want they continue together uh, in the page okay so that that's why i, I put keep together okay oh but it's no does not like this a uh, table of content does not like this okay so for now we have this information uh, we're gonna check this because uh, this don't don't want the title here maybe we have to do something inside the table of content okay this is the title maybe we can just make this title a uh, more more bigger and um, make some customization to the title and let the this table of content like this okay so this this one we can have a border here color let me let me say okay we can have this title here okay let me go back okay 
and then uh, if I if I cannot uh, just have this here, I make a one more test to put it here. Um, try try again, but I think it is no okay. It's not possible to have because it's occupied all the page and is maybe is need the, the whole page for this okay I I understand now here that is just for one one page for each so maybe we can do another way to do this but now we keep, we have a table of content we have a document map we can navigate to the report we have here the page number and we have here the date and, and we can do a lot of things with this uh, page info and we have this information in the report that we can go and something that I haven't uh, talked to you about that is this is porting if I export this to PDF so I make this I can make a and something is not no no problem okay i'm gonna save this in some place let me see uh, let me save this in this 10 10 folder oh, i have a lot of things here but this the, the name is grouping and sorting so i say over there and say open the file let, let, let's do let's see what happened in this so if you see, we have the table of content. Ah, you see, it's good. And we can navigate and we have this uh, document map in the PDF. So when you export, you have everything here and you can just manage this, you see. It's very good, it's very, very good, this. Okay, perfect. So we have this chart done. And then in a moment, we go to the next chart.